Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over future stars on Friday, kind of what to expect, some investments you guys can make and what the market's going to do this weekend. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We just hit 1.2K on the road to 1.3K, almost at 100 followers on Twitch. Um, I just started streaming over there and I will be streaming my rewards tonight and I will be live for content tomorrow. Uh, but yeah. That will be in the description down below. Let's get started. Uh, I have a couple investments on the transfer list, right? I've been trading again. I have coins. I have some Thursday flips. These are kind of all my Thursday flips. I really do think that icons are going to do very, very well this Thursday. And we're about three, actually two, two, three hours away from rewards. Uh, so we're having a little bit of pre-reward panic P people just list up cards a little bit cheaper um but i do think these mindies should hit like uh i got a message from the guy i just played um but i think these minis should hit 14 15 16 plus uh k hoping to sell around there but for future stars i want to bring you guys over to footbin and kind of just look uh look at the popular page for a second and then really dive into the players um delaney extinct team of the week i think this card's gonna do very well this weekend because we're gonna future stars people need links and that brings me to my first play right if we go look at uh where is he if we go look at giovanni arena this card it could potentially be like 89 to 90 rated like th these future stars don't just get an inform upgrade if you guys aren't familiar, they, they get a huge boost. If we go look at FIFA 20, uh, FIFA 20 players, and we take a look at the future stars from FIFA 20, they get an insane boost, right? Drought Felix, one of the best future stars last year, his base card was 80, and he got a 92 rated future stars. And th these stats are insane. When he came out, he was like two mil. He kind of just chilled around one mil the entire year. Um, but these future stars cards, right? We have to go look back at last year. Kind of, we're probably going to see the same trends. Um, but mostly the stat boosts that these cards get. Holland went, went from a 73 to a 79. Then his 92 rated future stars. Yes, he wasn't like the most meta card. But he did have a ton of hype, right? We see... He was more than Felix, uh, but Felix was just an all-around better card. But uh, Martinez, we have Rodrigo, Tonali, Valverde, Mason Greenwood. Th these cards get huge stat boosts. And in my opinion, this is one of the best promos of the year. If we go back to Ultimate Team and we back out and back, uh, back in Ultimate Team, the card design for the Future Stars promo could be the best card design we've had this year like look at that that just looks insane there's so many colors it's like dark but also colorful i don't know i really like it and the entire loading screen is already what we got for we just got more for future stars than team of the year um so it's already going to be a better promo right it's already already started off a better promo than team of the year ea tweeted um if I can find their tweet, right? They tweeted out a poll on Twitter, what future stars we would want to see. So if I bring you guys over to Twitter, they tweeted out uh, future stars is almost here, blah, blah, blah. Which nationality do you guys want to see? People voted England. Then they saw that. Then they said, um, what position do you want to see? Left back or striker? So this is basically confirming which position should they focus their efforts on the resulting vote winning player SBC will go live this weekend. So that is confirming a English striker future star SBC Saturday or Sunday. And I really, really think English links are going to do very, very well. We, we sold our Rashfords yesterday at 39k he is currently all the way up at 42k 41k i think this card yes i think he dips 
but I do think he will go up. I think this card will just fluctuate, right? So Rashford, someone you could look for. Another one is English icons. This is a very, very big one because a lot of the English icons went up and it doesn't even have to be English, but English, French, Brazilian, Spanish, just the most, the top nine leagues, I guess, top five, uh, top nine nations, not leagues, but top nine nations, I think the icons are going to do very well. And in general, I just think icons are going to do well this week. Um, people are going to want to be looking, linking them for future stars. I bought this Hernandez at, I bought this at 15K because I can literally just quick sell it at 15K. I bought this at 350. I'm hoping to sell around, like, yes, there's one for 357. But after rewards, I do think this guard goes like 380 to 390. I'm just listing for lazies right now. I uh, got these Pogba's at like 50K, hoping to sell at 55. I I'm kind of just trying to make quick flips during rewards. And then I might try and do a lot of icon flipping this week. Because I do think this weekend icons are going to do very well. I think the future stars are going to fluctuate a ton. Um, I think that uh, the team of the week is also going to be very well good to kind of just pick up tonight. The in this inform Delaney is extinct right now. If we go look at him on the market earlier today, he was kind of chilling at 215 on Xbox. Uh, I don't know why I searched DL uh, Delaney. If we go midfielders, he's extinct, right? So. He was chilling around 215, 220 on Xbox. Uh, he was extinct at PS basically the entire day. Uh, but then he went extinct on Xbox. So I think we could kind of see the same trend with this card. He's going to take a hit during rewards. But then he could get brought back up with future stars, right? But also the thing is, we're probably going to get lightning rounds on Friday. Or some type of pack for future stars. So that could kind of impact his price. I'm just going to be monitoring these informs and these icons because I really do think there's a lot of money to be made. Um, but yeah, once again, these future stars are crazy. My opinion, probably going to be a two week promo, maybe one team and then another team. That's kind of how they've been doing it this year. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and it did help you out. If it did, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like on the video. Um, follow the Twitch stream because we are streaming over there. Live trading. You guys can ask me questions if you need it. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.